The software foundation of Arista's cloud networking platform is EOS, the Extensible Operating System. EOS has been architected from the ground up to provide far greater stability than other switch operating systems, eliminating the crashes and reloads that have plagued switch software for years. EOS further reduces downtime by providing in-service software upgrade so that patches can be deployed on a live switch. Finally, EOS provides extensibility, enabling EOS to be tailored to optimally support each customer's unique cloud computing requirements. First, I will describe EOS's unique multi-process state sharing architecture. Then I will explain how that architecture brings the key benefits of EOS, which are fault containment, self-healing, in-service software upgrade, and extensibility. Arista EOS has been designed from the ground up to provide maximum possible stability. To do that, we start by running a standard Linux kernel on top of the hardware. By avoiding any extensive modifications to the kernel, we avoid destabilizing it. From there, the question is how to package the rest of software functionality. And we rely on a mechanism that's as old as Unix itself, which is the address space. We divide switch processing into more than 40 separate address spaces. That way, each address space individually may fail, but switch functionality overall is unaffected. The question then becomes, how does one coordinate the activities of all these different address spaces? And our architecture, we believe, is unique here. In our architecture, all of the state of the system is held in a central database called SysDB. All of the processing involved in operating a network switch is moved outside of SysDB and outside of the kernel into separate user address spaces. This includes both the drivers that manage the hardware, switching ASICs, forwarding path, and ports, as well as the software that provides control plane functionality, including the command line interpreter, SNMP, spanning tree, and routing protocols. The key EOS innovation here is centralizing the state associated with those tasks in one place, namely SysDB, while separating out the processing into the separate address spaces. This architectural innovation enables us to achieve two key goals. First, software fault containment, which means that when a software fault occurs, the damage is limited to a single agent. Second, Stateful restart, which means that when a failed agent is restarted, it picks up where it left off. The next slide illustrates these critical reliability features. The first major benefit provided by our architecture is fault containment with self-healing. Here we see a picture of a switch operating normally until an agent encounters a fault. The fault is some software failure, such as a bug causing the agent to crash. When it crashes, our process manager detects the failure and then starts a new copy of the agent. Because all of the state is held in SysDB, that state is available to the new copy of the agent. When the new copy starts, it transfers all of its state from SysDB and then resumes processing as though nothing happened. Because the data path is implemented in hardware, packet forwarding continues uninterrupted throughout this transition. The same architectural features support in-service software upgrade. When an improved version of an agent is available, the old agent is terminated. The new version is automatically started. It connects to SysDB and resumes processing as though nothing had happened. EOS's in-service software upgrade capability significantly reduces the need for maintenance-related downtime. The EOS innovation that I am most excited about is extensibility. EOS enables systems integrators, partners, and end-users to add functionality to the switch. When you think about it, it is really quite amazing that networking equipment has been so closed for so long. We have had extensibility in servers, workstations, and desktop machines for years. Today, even cell phones provide a platform for third-party development. It seems like it's about time for the networking equipment industry to go the same direction. So, what is there to gain by opening up the switch operating system? The benefit may be as simple as taking advantage of existing open source tools, such as PTPD, TCP Dump, or MRTG or it may involve integrating the switch more tightly into your network management system. It helps with cluster scalability. For example, you can run all network services related to a rack of servers on the top of rack switch. Finally, it is possible to run custom security policies, intrusion detection systems, or failover behaviors. But what is important here is that the possibilities are now open. What you choose to do with them is up to you.
In summary, Arista's EOS provides the level of software resiliency required for uninterrupted operation through fault containment, self-healing, and in-service software upgrade, while EOS's extensibility opens new possibilities for what you can do with your network. Thank you very much for listening.